hi guys welcome back to my channel this is don larry and in this video today i'll be showing you how to make this lovely off shoulder jumpsuit kindly share like and comment and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe so guys let's get to work the first thing is to measure your trouser length from your waistline to your ankle and at the ankle you had at least two inches so in allowance to it then at the waistline you mark out your hip length and also your crotch length then you need to find your nail length. so you find the midpoint of your ankle line and the crotch line then you go up by two inches from that midpoint and you need to mark out that horizontal line and that will be your nail line So once you've done that, the next thing now is to come to your hip line and then you add 2 inches to your hip measurement. Whatever you get, you divide it by 4 and that is what you will need to mark at that point on your nail line. So you mark the same thing at the waistline and you do the same thing at the crotch line. Then you connect those points together. So once you've done that, then you go back to your waistline, you divide your waist measurement by 4 and whatever you get, you had 1 inch that allowance to it. Then you're going to mark it and connect that to your hip line. Then you make sure you shape it very well. So we want to create the crotch now and to do that, you measure your hip line whatever you have on your hip line you divide it by four inches so in my own case i have 2.6 inches i'm just going to mark that 2.6 inches from the vertical line and then i will extend that crotch line so that is what i'm doing there and at the hip line you need to go out by half an inch from the hip line and then you connect the, the waistline to the extended hip line and then to the crotch so you make sure you curve that part very well so the next thing now is to shape the trouser and to do that you go back to your crotch line measure whatever you have there then you you find the middle point because we need to draw a green line and that middle point you need to measure whatever you have on hold the horizontal line and once you've done that then the next thing is to connect all those points together and that will be the green line and that is going to be the guide for the shaping of the trouser so now we want to shape the trouser from the tie and then you need to find your tie line again and the tie is usually three inches below the crotch so you mark three inches or you can measure your tie line and then you need to now start inputting your measurement so my tie is 23 inches divided by two i have 11 and a half inches then you need to input your nail line measurement as well so you divide your nail measurement by two you divide your ankle measurement by two and then you mark it at both sides whatever you have then the next thing now is to connect all the points together you shape it very well and then we want to create the dart to create the dart uh, you're going to use that green line and then at that green line you will use half an inch at both sides in order to create the dart and then you go down by five inches for the front trouser so you mark five inches and then you draw that dart in a, a triangular shape Then at the waistline, I'm just going to add like half an inch for joining. 
that is joining allowance then i'll cut out then i'm just going to notch that that uh, allowance so now to cut out the back at the crotch line you extend that crotch line by two inches at the crotch line then at the waist line you go up by one and a half inch and then on your waistline you mark that one and a half inch again then you connect that so that point you need to connect it to your crotch line in order to create the back so you just you can just fold your front slightly then you shape down from the that uh, mark at the upper part and then you shape it down to the crotch line so once you've done that you extend your waistline at the other side and whatever you have at your waistline that is what you will mark for the back from that 1.5 inches that you measured up so you mark whatever you have there then you connect that that is a slanted line and then at the side you're just going to add one inch all through the side at that uh, side then at the other side mark one inch at the nail line and then you connect it to the crotch and down to the ankle then you cut it out so you can see the shape of the back is totally different from what we have for the front then you create the back that as well so you mark for that four inches you mark it on the back in order to create the back that so for the length of the back that you mark six inches the back that is usually longer than the front for the trouser and then you use that one inch that allowance you mark half an inch at both sides. I would like the jumpsuit to have a pocket, so I'm just going to create a pocket for it. And the length will be from the waistline to below the crotch line. Like that. And then I'll be using this paper so that you will understand it better. So just place your front pattern, you place it on a white paper. Then you shape out the the hip cuff on that uh, white paper so once you've done that then you take out the paper place it on your front on the front like that and then you fold it the you fold it using that green line as a guide just like that then you're just going to curve it a little bit at the bottom. Then you trim it off. So once you've trimmed it off, you're going to need this uh, paper pattern to cut out two pieces of fabric. And that will be your, your pocket. So I've just cut out two pieces and I added uh, half an inch seam allowance to it. So what I will do now is to you place the front, you place it on it. You can see that it's the same thing now then you will need to create a little cuff on the front part so you just mark you mark down like seven inches just make sure your hand can enter then you mark out 1.5 inch at the waistline then you connect that you create that cuff for the pocket mouth 
So that thing, that curve that you've created, you will need to trim it out from the front pattern. And that is how it will look like. Like that. So once you've done this, you need to cut out lining exactly the same way you cut out the two pieces. So for the upper part, I use the basic bodice pattern to cut out the front and the back without the neckline. So you can watch my video on how to draft the basic bodice pattern. So once you have this, then we want to create the off shoulder neckline. So from the shoulder line, you mark out the neck depth the neck depth that you want for your jumpsuit. So I'm using five inches here. So just mark it like that and mark that you, you create that horizontal line. And that is what you will need to cut out in order to create the off shoulder line. So once you've done that, the next thing now is to place your waist that and then you use your nipple to nipple measurement. I'm using four inches here. You connect it and then you create the that for the front. So you go down by one inch at your bust line. And at the waistline, you mark half an inch at both sides of that line, that vertical line. Then you create that, uh, the waist that. So you, I'm just notching the that leg. Then I will do the same thing for the back. So to cut out the peplum, you fold your fabric into four, like that. So I'm having four folds there. So to find the radius of the pattern you want to cut, you will need to take your measurement like this. You wrap your tape measure around and whatever you get, you divide it by 6.28 and then you mark it at that from that pointed edge. So you mark it around like that. Then you mark out the length that you want for your peplum. So I'm marking 9 inches here. So you can mark more than that. Then you need to mark it round, around like that. Then you cut it out. So to start sewing it, you place the lining for the pocket. You place it on the right side of the fabric you cut out for the pocket then you stitch it at that side not at the waistline and not at the hip curve just like that so i've just done that for the two and then once you've done that you place the front trouser you place it on it so you're going to need to use that uh, shape the curve you created for the pocket mouth you need to shape it out on the lining as well. Like that. And then you do the same thing for the second one. So that is how it will look like. Just pick it like that. And then you're going to use that lining. You place that curved part on each other. The lining and the fabric. And then you will stitch it at that side. So this is how it will look. You notch it after stitching and then you turn it back to the other side. So I'm just going to stop stitch that curved part. Then I will stitch it together at that part and stitch it together at the waistline in order to secure it. So I've done that. 
and that is the other side of it so that is the pocket and I've also sewn the dart for the front so I've done the same thing for the front so place the back on it and sew it from the crotch down to the ankle so I've done that this is one front and one back I've joined it together from the crotch to the ankle then I've also hemmed the ankle line so once you've done that then you place two, two together and then you sew it from the hip cuff line down to the ankle so I've done that for the two and then the next thing is to turn it to the right side like this and then you connect the two together so you make sure that you place the two together and make sure the crotch line align together so the front will be together at this time and the back will be together so you place the two front together like that and then you you're going to stitch it from that part and for the back you stitch from the front two to the back and for the back you need to leave some inches where you will fix your sip the sip that will run from the bodies so you leave some inches like eight to nine inches so this is it and this is the back part so you can see I left some inches for the sip allowance like that so for the bodies I've just done it with the lining and to do that place the lining on the right side stitch the ham hole and then you notch it and for the back you need to stitch the sip area too then you turn it to the right side like that and then you sew the dart so that is what I've done for this part of the back and I've done the same for the front So these are the back pieces, then this is the part that I notch for the sip and then I'm just going to place the two on each other in order to separate the sip allowance from the bodies. So I'm just going to pin it down. So I've done that and the next thing now is to place the front. On the back and then I will use the measurement to join it at the side seam so I've joined it at the side seam and you can see the zip allowance this is the front then I'm just going to turn it to the right side so this is what we have and the next thing is to connect the peplum to it so the peplum I, I notch it at both sides then you open it one of the notched parts you need to cut it into two and that will be the the center back so once you've cut it you need to sew it like that and then you find the the center front the other notched part you place it on the center front of the bodies like that and then this time you are placing the wrong side of the peplum on the right side of the fabric of the bodice. Then I'm just going to pin it down. So I will pin it through to the back. So that is the zip allowance. So I'm not going to join it to the zip allowance. But you make sure it's very close to the zip allowance. So that is what we have here. I've joined it through from the back. So that is the zip allowance there. Then 
then you can see it from there through to the other other end then you're going to measure whatever you have from that sip allowance from one hand you measure it down to the other end so whatever you have there you will need to cut out a band that you will use to pipe the neckline so you use you're going to need an elastic so whichever elastic you want to use that is what we determine the width of the band so i'll be using the tiny one that is why i cut out this tiny one so just place the right side of the band on the wrong side of the fabric that is on the lining now so you place the right side of the band on the lining like that and it will go round from one hand to another so i'm just going to sew it round so i've done that so now i want to you will need to turn it like that you fold it like that and then you fold it again so now you are folding it on back on the peplum from the lining from the back you are folding it now on the peplum and then you will stitch it down so i've just stitched it you can see it from one hand to the other then i'm just going to put that elastic in it So you put the elastic through from one hand to another and then before you cut out the elastic you make sure it's not too tight you can measure it so that it won't be too tight for you and then you cut out the elastic but before you cut out the elastic make sure you hold it very well at that end and you secure it with a pin like that and at the other side you do the same so this is what we have the next thing now is to join it to the trouser so you make sure you shape the waistline for the back and for the front then you connect it together from one hand to another just like that it will go around and that means you have the same waistline for both trouser and the bodies so you're just going to sew it straight down so this is what we have and it's really looking nice the dart is the dart aligned together both at the trouser and at the bodies and you can see the pocket is wide enough for my hand so the next thing we want to do now is to fix the zip and you are going to need a long zip for the jumpsuit so you fix it like that and make sure that you are not fixing it with the peplum so you are fixing it separately so you take off the peplum from it i've just fixed the zip and this is how it looks And our jumpsuit is ready this is the final result it came out so nice I would love to hear your feedback kindly share like and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so then I will see you again in my next tutorial bye